wish you to all my viewers. Today I have come up with a sweet dish. So this is one of the famous paisams or the keeps of Kerala. This is my daughter's favorite paisam. I thought let me show my viewers when I am preparing it for the festival season. So this is uh, called as Moondal Paisam or Charubayar Paisam. So let me show you without much delay what are the ingredients required for that. So here I have taken moong dal. This we will roast. Uh, this I am making for 6 to 7 people. So 2 cups of moong dal will take after roasting. Here I have taken coconut milk. 2 coconuts uh, milk. This is the first milk without diluting with water. I have grinded it and got it. And this is the second milk with water we got it. So this is the thin milk and this is the thick milk. This is jaggery syrup. Uh, I have taken up a, around 800 grams of jaggery. I have diluted it and strained and kept it. So that the foreign particles and the dirt everything goes off. So strained and kept this 800 grams of jaggery syrup. If you want more sweet you can take 1 kg uh, of jaggery. Here is coconut uh, small pieces I have kept it. This is all for ghee fry. This is cashew nuts. This is kismis, raisins. Here is the dry ginger. We will grind it and take it. This is cardamom powder. Around 4 to 5 cardamoms powder. This is cumin seed powder. Roasted and powdered it. This is ghee for frying. So let's get started without much delay. We will switch on the gas. And keep, keep a pan for dried roast this moong dal. Moong dal is cherubayaru payaru. Or the green split dal. The pulse. So this I have not measured. Here I am just taking the moong dal which was at home. Let us roast it until we get a nice nutty aroma. It should be slightly brownish in color. So when the aroma starts coming, we know that the moondal is ready to take out and wash. Mama, this is my favorite paisam. Yes. yes, this is Mari's favorite paisam. So I thought when kids are at home, let me make what they love. So let's roast this. It will take approximately 10 minutes. So we need to have patience to have yummy food, right? So this will take approximately 10 minutes. Till then, roast it. This is almost after 6 to 7 minutes. Nutty, nice aroma is coming. So, we will just roast it. See, the color is changing. So, we need slightly more brownish in color. So, we will just... When we were small, you know, we used to call this brown paisam. We used to never call it as moondal paisam, brown paisam because all the keers are white in color, most of the keers. This is the only paisam which is brown in color. So we used to name this, my sister and I used to name it brown paisam. Oh mama, what a nice aroma. Yes, this is a nice um, nutty aroma is coming. So we know it's almost the stage we have to switch off the gas. Yes, this is... Now, slightly dark brownish in color. Yes. Now we can switch off the gas and take two cups. I'll just show you. This is the size 250 ml cup I've taken. You can take two cups of or one cup and here we go the second cup. So we have taken two cups of moong dal and we will allow it to cool down. By the time the moong dal is getting cool, we will fry the ingre other ingredients, the garnish and keep it ready. Let's not waste much time. So I kept a small pan and take one tablespoon of ghee to it. Here is the ghee. Let the ghee get hot. While frying the moondal, the flame was on medium to
to high flame and continuously I stirred it and kept so that you know evenly it gets roasted so and I have kept that for cooling down here after that we'll wash that moong dal and pressure cook it nicely so here I have kept the ghee ready now let's roast the coconut slices this gives a great flavor to the payasam and in between nice crunchy coconuts when we buy it it tastes very really yummy so until this is dark brown we will just fry it and take it out so this is slightly brown in color Let's take out. This is the right stage. We have to take out. Yes. Let's keep it in a bowl. And let the ghee be there. In the pan itself. We have to roast the cashew nuts and the kismis also. The raisins. I don't want to put much because... one doesn't like coconut coming in between so this is my favorite one coconut so I just take a little here is the cashew nuts let's just roast it the same way slight brownish in color now cashews are also slightly brownish in color let's take out this all will take up just three to four minutes only Make sure you keep stirring it because uh, the ghee uh, smoking point is too high. It will immediately turn black. Now kismis, it will take hardly two minutes. So keep stirring and as soon as it swall swall gets swollen up, just take it out. See, just need to stir it and once swollen, just take it out. Kismis will get burned very soon. Yes. This is ready. Almost ready. Let's yes. See, this is the stage. You should off the gas. See, so when it gets swollen up like this, take out and keep it. We keep this ghee for cooking the moong dal. We will now wash the moong dal and keep it ready to pressure cook it. Now I have kept a pressure cooker on high flame and washed this moong dal nicely with 2-3 times with fresh good water and kept it ready. Here I have taken this, we have taken 2 cups of moong dal. Here I have taken 4 cups of water just to warm it. Now what we do, we had that little ghee here, right? So what we can do, just put this ghee in this cooker. And let's add our washed moong dal to it. Just for flavor. Now we will pressure cook it very well. And just give a nice stir. And we will pressure cook it very well for 5 to 6 whistles. That is approximately for 15 minutes. So we just nicely do and add this water to it. Yes. Here is the water. Nicely. So we have added the water and kept. Let us pressure cook it for 5 to 6 minutes. Now let's check. Yes. The steam is gone. Let's check the condition of our moong dal. Yes. It is really mushy. Nice. Yes. This is the state. We have to really make it mushy like this. 
and on the flame. Let's on the flame. Keep it on medium flame and just give a nice stir. Let's make it mushy very well. Oh, Mama, what a nice aroma. Yes, coming dal. Paisan is getting ready. Yes, at this stage, let's add jaggery. Slowly, the diluted jaggery. Wow. Please check the description box for the right quantity. I'll be mentioning everything in my description box. Wow, Mama. <laughs> Looks very nice. Just give a stir and keep it on medium flame. Don't make it on high flame. It will get burned down. Nice stir this way. And allow it to reduce a bit. So when the nice oil comes after adding the jaggery, we will add the Second milk of coconut. So let us allow it to bubble for some time. Here you can see the jaggery is boiling right along with the dal. At this time, let us sim the gas to low and slowly add the coconut milk and stir. This coconut milk is the second milk, the diluted one. The diluted one we have to add and keep stirring. Now what we need to know at this stage is we have to reduce this whole uh, thing to almost half. So we have to stir it in between and allow it to reduce for at least 15 to 20 minutes. This is almost after 10 minutes. See it started bubbling. Occasionally I had just given a stir. Very occasionally see. This is the stage. Here if you want you can just check the sweetness. If you feel you need more sweet then you can add the jaggery at this point of time. I, I have no problem because I have this measurement. I don't need to check. So now we add a pinch of salt. As I said in all my sweet dishes, I add salt to enhance the flavor. Okay. Kind of less than half teaspoon. Less than very less than half teaspoon. I have put the salt. Now here we add the cumin powder. Roasted cumin powder, cheetah powder here I add. Here we will add, just grate some dry ginger, salt. In Hindi we call it as dry ginger. Just a bit. That's enough. This is salt. Dry ginger we have added. Let's give a nice stir. It gives a very good aroma. Also a great flavor to this paisa. Yeah. Yes, this is the cumin powder. Now, let's give a stir and let it boil for 5 more minutes. And shall show you. Just keep it for five more minutes. After five minutes, this is boiled. So let us keep it on sim. And while adding this first milk, that is the the direct milk, you know, without diluting, when you add, just make sure you take out your vessel out of the fire and let's add slowly the first milk to it so that it doesn't curdle because this is not the diluted thing if it is diluted no problem let's 
so here is the first milk of coconut slowly slowly just keep adding the creamy one if you feel lazy or you feel uh, taking out coconut milk is a tedious process you can always buy the can which you get ready made you can take two cans of milk shake it and you can take it you can find it in the grocery store what type of um, coconut milk is there or else you can take powdered coconut and make milk out of it just put water and milk take milk out of it if you have any doubt you can comment on my comment box here now i am keeping it back on the fire yes now make sure the flame is on low and just stir occasionally and don't allow it to boil after adding the first milk so here at this stage let's add the cardamom powder to it yes this is the cardamom powder flavor after adding the first milk do not boil it just allow it to just become hot and this payasam when you serve make sure it is hot don't serve it in room temperature it won't taste at all good either it has to be very hot or it can be chilled and served the next day that also tastes good but in the room temperature i assure you it will not taste good the hot a moong dal payasam tastes the best so do try it and this is the stage we can take it out when it sits for 5 to 10 minutes it is going to thicken so now let's add the garnish will the coconut slices kismis and cashews here we go the payasam is ready after a long wait so this wasn't that easy cooking it was having process but it's a festival time so i thought let me show you at the time of preparation how to make the moong dal pais yes this much is enough after 5 minutes we are going to switch off the gas now for serving just take any vessel thought of taking a traditional vessel here yes it is really yummy i guarantee you do try it i'm sure your family members are going to appreciate this spice huh? yes. at the time of serving you can take one teaspoon of ghee in the whole thing just add it on over here and garnish it oh mama it looks so yummy yes i feel yeah. like eating it right now yes you can have it so this was moong dal paisa do try it is very healthy paisa and if you like it don't forget to uh, press the bell icon like it share it to your loved ones and do check the description box for the exact quantity don't forget to watch spoonful easy cooking i shall come back again with a new recipe till then bye bye see you